Welcome back to EV Swap. My name is Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we swap cars from gas to electric. Let me show you what we've been working on. So we got the salvage leaf in up here in the lift and we pretty much gutted everything that we can use out of it. So I'll show you, we've got all of the pile of parts um, from the interior, the mirrors, the head unit, the lights, everything that was salvageable that we can easily sell on eBay or Craigslist, we've got pulled out. We got the seats pulled out. You can see here's the battery out of the car. It's underneath the frame here, but you can see it's a 40 kilowatt hour leaf and that little sticker on top says it's a reman battery from June of this year, June, 2023. So that's super cool. I don't know if this is, you know, a new battery or if there were some cells that were replaced in here. I know with the 40 kilowatt hour batteries, people were having issues with them. So possibly there's some brand new cells in that box um, or all of them are new. So really cool find. Uh, the battery is about <laughs> four years newer than the car. So it's got a lot less miles on it. Um, so it's gonna be a perfect candidate for this conversion. Of course, over here, we've got the motor stack. So the motor is at the very bottom. The inverter is in the middle and then the charger, the PDM is on top. And what we are gonna do is separate each of those components so that we can spread them apart in the vehicle and uh, convert it from gas to electric. So to that end, we've been doing some work on the front here. You can see we got the whole dashboard pulled off and that is so we can access the ECU down there and we're gonna replace the ECU with the Resolve EV VCU. And that is gonna control all the components. We also want to address the heater. Uh, we wanna modify the heater core to use the uh, coolant from the engine to use an electric heating element. So I've gone ahead and we pulled out the heater core from the leaf. So this is the PTC heater. It's basically a resistive heater core. You can see that air will flow through it and you have your high voltage uh, connector here that goes to the battery. And then this is your 12 volt power and this is ground. And that is what turns the heater on and off. So Dave provided me with this heater and I was you know, thinking maybe we could just use this. This is a 12 volt heater called backseat heat. This is, <laughs> I don't know how old this thing is. It looks like something that you'd see on TV back in the 90s, like late at night. Uh, infomercial but um, I was looking through it it looks like a decent enough thing the issue is it's only 300 watts of power and 300 watts is not gonna cut it it's gonna be like <laughs> uh, just minuscule amount of heat and this one for instance can do 5,000 watts so one issue with the PTC heater is that it pulls tons of power 5,000 watts um, that's a lot and if you have it running constantly, it's going to drain your battery uh, considerably uh, Versus just when you're driving so you have to be really judicious with your use of this heater Maybe we'll insert a timer or something like that so that uh, It only comes on for a few seconds goes off comes on and goes off and cycles itself automatically But I was thinking about Dave. He lives up in the mountains and <laughs> when it's like you know 20 degrees out 10 degrees out and he's freezing and he climbs into his pickup truck to go run some errands or something this is just you're not even going to feel this 300 watts is is nothing it's not going to work at all it won't even defrost the windshield so we're going to have to replace the heater core in the truck with this electric heating element luckily that's why we bought a nissan leaf because it it comes with stuff like this all the little bits that you're not thinking about when you think of ev conversion well, if you buy an EV, it's got them all. Another thing that we got out of it is the throttle pedal. So this is the throttle and uh, it's just a digital um, potentiometer type throttle. So we can adapt this to our Resolve EV controller and we'll have throttle. So that's about it for the car. You can see this is where the battery goes in the leaf and uh, it's all been removed. It's very easy. There's only 10 or so bolts around the outside and the whole thing comes out. It weighs a ton, but it's uh, pretty easy to get out. Having a lift is just absolutely, uh, I don't know, totally worth it. Like without the lift, I'd probably still be working on it. 
If you can see the motor, we've taken the motor out of the car. It's totally gone. And uh, any of the wiring harnesses that I thought we'd need, I went ahead and trimmed those out also. The wheels and tires sold. That's the great thing about Craigslist is you could sell your parts. So what I need to do now is I brought my trailer today because we're gonna take this over to the scrap yard and we're gonna get some cash for it and uh, get rid of it because I need my space back in my shop. So we're gonna go ahead and push the little Nissan pickup truck out and I think I'm gonna back my trailer in underneath and we'll lower the car down and we'll go to the scrap yard. Let's get to it. tricky part we got to lower it down Now we got it off of the lift. I can't go all the way down because it'll interfere with my tires. So that's why I put the jack stands in the jack. So now we'll lower the jack, wheel around to the front, lower the front. Got it. Now we gotta do the front.
All right, now I just gotta get it strapped down and we'll take it to the scrap yard. Let's do it. All right, we got the car strapped down. Got it out in the sunshine. Got the everything buttoned up here at the shop. So let's head to the scrap yard and they're gonna pick that thing up with a big claw. And it's always scary as hell with those huge machineries. So let's go do it. All right, here we are at the recycler, just waiting our turn. I'm gonna take it over there to the massive pile. Look at that massive pile of refrigerators. All right, so you give me directions over here. We gotta just sneak around all these huge machines. That's the claw that's gonna lift it off the claw. Oh man. It's really busy today. I haven't seen it this busy before. Strapped, ready to go. He says we just gotta wait for this blue semi to get out of the way and then we can go up there. All right, that semi's leaving now. So, I'm gonna get in position. It's not getting flattened. Always worry I'm gonna get a flat tire, especially in my trailer. Look at the size of this thing. Holy cow. Get the heck out of here, man. I'm the small fish in this pond, that's freaking for sure. Oh, there, he flipped it upside down, and he's smashing the crap out of it. There it goes. Bye bye, Leaf. Go get recycled to make more. All right, now we gotta pull onto the scales again, and they're gonna weigh us and subtract the load, and uh, that's what we're gonna get paid for. So we gotta just wait for that. I just got my load. It looks like we had 2,000 pounds, or 1,940 pounds, so almost a ton. And now I gotta find a place to park on the street here, and then we're gonna go in the office and get paid. It looks like it's super busy. So that's always good. Okay, so we got paid. We got 95 bucks, which was more than I was expecting, honestly. I think the last leaf I brought, I only got $80 or so. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's about 2,000 pounds for just the shell. Remember, all the motor, the battery, the seats, the lights, like some of the smaller stuff, the interior bits, all that. Uh, was removed and we're left with 2,000 pounds. So that means I think these cars are high 3,000 pounds, almost 4,000 pounds. So there's the battery and the motor and uh, the seats and everything is about a ton, <laughs> which is just crazy how heavy these EVs can be sometimes. 
but that's great so i gotta go to the car wash now because my trailer is covered in glass and junk and um that's about it thanks again for watching another episode of ev swap and uh, we're gonna get this little nissan electrified before you know it remember to hit that subscribe button tell your friends and hit a like if you have a comment if you have a question leave it down below and i will answer your questions thanks again for watching